Hey guys, what's up? It's Noah here from YourApplePlace.com and I have the second part of the After Effects tutorials um, and what we'll be learning today is how to simply animate text and get a composition going. So, in After Effects you want to hit New Composition and we'll make it about, I'll say 15 seconds long. And we'll make the background color just the same black. Okay, now you're going to want to use the text tool. So my text tool is up, and I'll just type in yourappleplace.com. Go back to the pointer tool. Drag this out. And a tip to keep it in the same um, dimensions is to hold shift. So there it keeps it in the right dimensions and let's change the font to um, GeoSans light or you know what we'll do Mosaic Sans okay that looks good alright so it's right there in the middle and now down here is your timeline. And like I said in the last tutorial, this is important. Um, so you can make it 3D here. This will add it. Um, 3D tools aren't there. Um, if you go, if you click on here and hit R, you get your rotation. So there it's moving in 3D. Um, it'll move in 3D all over the place. So that's pretty cool. And if you want to make it, you know, a little bit transparent, hit T on your keyboard. There's your opacity. You can drag it down, drag it up, whatever. Um, if you hit P, you have your position, which is just easy enough to drag it, you know, using the, the tool at the top. Um, so now the easiest way to um, animate this text is you want to go to effects and presets and it's still loading okay so after you download the one effect off of video copilot um, I'll put a link to that in the description um, it's very simple once you know how to use it and it's a really 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 cool thing to animate text with um, but we'll use the effect up here Oop. so what you first need to do is add a new null object and that is what all your text will be linked to and then on the null object you want to go down to where it'll say video copilot and sure target which is the name of the um, plugin and now we have a set of options over here on the left. Um, what this will do is this will rotate the text when you set it to. Um, the wiggle speed is how much it'll, how fast it'll wiggle. So I'll put maybe five and maybe fifteen for the amount. And you just have to play with these settings to get what you want to feel. Maybe five for the inertia. The inertia is how hard it'll hit and move around. Um, Autofocus, it'll make you, it'll give depth. Camera roll, um, it'll obviously make the camera roll. And then here's your targeted layers. Now, what you want to do on the null object is click this arrow, the transform arrow, and oh, I'm sorry, the effects arrow, sure target, and right here, you need to click this little stopwatch to add keyframes. And keyframes are key. Like I said in the last tutorial, over here, um, on the timeline, this is the most important thing of your composition. So, if I want to go for maybe five seconds, five seconds would be right here. I want to put a blank one and then move forward a little bit and put number two. Now, here's where it comes in, all those numbers. One is where you're going to put your apple place. And then, we'll add another text layer and just say... Um, Alright, 
So let's move this down. Whoop. Let's make this big enough so I can see. That looks good. Okay, now, ensure target all your layers that you're going to use need to be in 3D. And it's always nice to add a little motion blur. It gives it um, you know, a little bit of feel to it. Um, so let's go back to the null object. Now we have to put this one, this layer, as number two. Now, if you move your cursor over this little blue part, um, it'll change to Z and now what this does is it'll give you your depth so if you click on it down here and drag Z come on there it'll give depth into it so I can move it up here little bit more there alright now we'll drag it down even more keep going well maybe one more time one more time I'll just move it up. Man, I have no idea why my computer is so slow today. All right, but there we go. So we'll move that out a little bit more. And now we'll add a really cool effect to it, which is what the auto-rotate feature is. So we'll go back here. We'll click on the layer we want, which is the number two layer hit R and what we can do is on the Y rotation we'll type in let's say negative 90 so now this is what will happen when you play it first you have to hit that little arrow right up here to make it render so you can see and it does take a while Okay, so now it is done rendering, and we'll just click it again. It'll start going through. And there is our effect. And how easy was it to do that? So that was just part one, or part two, I'm sorry. Part two of, I don't know how long of a series. We'll see how this goes, and... Um, I'll be sure to show you guys how to do more stuff. If you want to know how to do something in particular, just let me know down in the comments, and I will f try and find out how to do it and show you guys. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys later.